Sepp, what's up? How are you doing? Here a little voice message. I hope everything's going fine and better by the day with your voice and everything. I'm actually filming a Maserati Quattro Porte Trofeo 2021, a facelift model. So I guess uh, this is gonna be the car for the content on the channel. Speak soon, bro. La Famille, what's up? Welcome back to a video from Netherlands, from Holland. You might remember this spot because we filmed it together with AO and Sepp with the Porsche 992 Miami Blue convertible. We were driving here doing some content with some drones. But today, I present you the Maserati Trofeo Quattro Porte, the facelift. Let's get the camera. Let me show you guys some of these new features. So this is a Nero black one. This is all from Italy, official press car since I'm working together with Maserati. So what they have done with this facelift, they've changed a bit of the front. Look at how cool that front is with the trident and those, those lines on the hood. Very aggressive, typical Maserati. And then here now on the side, we got on this very elegant elegant sedan we got this aggressive red lines trofeo on these air exits and also the, the trofeo logo here is also in red together with chrome so all black spec black trims italian flag here some details and also look at what they have done with the trident a red underline now this might be new for the trofeos only and then the butt the rear They've updated the rear tail lights as well. I think personally, I like this. It's very classy. A Quattro Porte is classy and not too sporty. L-shaped tail lights, very cool. 3D sticking out. And that red is dark red, so it's a bit of a yeah, smoked red. Elegant tailpipes, trapezium shaped, all shaped in that rear diffuser. By the way, this is carbon, carbon rear diffuser. It's a very, very nice car. It's not a, not a sports car. It's a sport limousine, Gran Turismo type of chassis. So this machine produces 580 horses. That's some serious business. Ferrari produced V8 engine. Let's have a look inside. Let's have a look inside. So on the interior, we got a red interior, similar to a lot of other Maseratis I've driven. Very Italian, combined with some carbon, black leather. So yeah, inside here, well, yeah, we got a very nice view and some updates as well. So welcome here inside the new Quattro Porte. So what they have changed on the new Quattro Porte is this. We got some new meters and also an updated display. And finally, they've changed the screen. So the previous Quattro Porte or the old Ghiblis had a different kind of screen. That screen was actually uh, pretty, pretty dated. It was time for a, for a more high-end screen like this. I think this is even OLED. Very intuitive and uh, oh yeah, very high-end as well. Nice carbon here, a lot of leather, very, very Italian fashion-alike. Maserati always has that classic fashionable interior finishing. A lot of leather here as well. I've always been a fan of Maserati because Maserati does have you know, that, that car emotion. It's not very high-tech or on top of the line like Mercedes-Benz, but the emotion in the car brand like Maserati, well, yeah, it's, it's one of the best. Let's have a look at the rear seats. So privacy glass, very elegant. Oh, black spec, I like this by the way. I've said it a million times. So the glass, by the way, the windows are thicker than normal. That's isolating windows. Here you can see the privacy windows, dark. And then you got those nice doors again with that black and red leather. Nice aggressive carbon fiber trim here. And then the entry. Well, if you look closely, you can see that the couch is very deep positioned. And if I'm right, this gives you a very fixed position. This is your point of view in the rear section of the Quattro Porte. Yeah, not bad at all actually. So leg space, let's have a look on space. So for the rear passengers, you got some serious space. For your head, well yeah, I'm 1.77 meters, so this is okay. This is pretty doable. Rear passengers, got seat heating, nice armrest, all leather by the way, and all in it red. So reds everywhere. USB inputs, 12 volt inputs. They've thought about us rear passengers, two cup holders. Pretty nice here in the rear section. 
3D embossed in the headrest. And on top, by the way, this is all Alcantara. Look at this view, wow. This is very classy, very Italian. Okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> ah, this, this door is on, on kid lock, child lock. I need to <laughs> move to the other door. Here we go. Okay, so, Trofeo, meaning the fastest model of Maserati. You also have a Levante Trofeo and a Ghibli. This engine produces 580 horses from a Ferrari produced V8 by turbo engine. Let's have a look. And after that, of course, start her up, give you some revs and some GoPro shots of this Italian beautiful engine. Very Italian how they've designed this with the carbon and the red finishing here. Very cool to see that intake as well of the big air box. So this is the intake for the air going all the way in through this big, big grill, through the pillars entering the air box, entering the chambers. Uh, by the way, let's uh, make it all official. Let's have a look at the trunk space as well. So you have uh, an idea of the trunk space of the Trofeo Quattroporte. Well, Quattroporte is huge. Sep, I think you can fit two times yourself in this red trunk, maybe even three. But this is big, this is huge. All right, let's turn on the GoPro. There we go. Cut exhaust tips trapezium shaped okay it's time to fire this beauty up on driving though the Maserati it's always always good personally putting it in Sport Corsa <laughs> it has a lot of power so this car weighs like 2,000 plus kilograms. It's a very long car with a long wheelbase. So to drive it sporty, it's pretty difficult. I mean, it's possible, of course, but it's, it's, it's more a Gran Turismo. But it does have the engine of a sports car and it has that Maserati kind of experience while you drive it. You have emotion. Could you please repeat that? What can I help you with? This I can help with navigation, phone call. No, 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 cancel. Music. La Famille, no. no, this is La Famille, cancel, we're, we're, we're filming. So this is sixth gear, 1500 RPM. You hear that nice deep brum. And if you shift back, you hear a bit of the pops. school pops because these days all the modern cars have OPF filter systems and well yeah that's all for the planet but for us petrol heads it's uh, killing the emotion I have no idea what that was Ooh, this is a driver license killer This car is definitely, definitely Maserati, and with the with the limousine feeling, it's very classy and it drives very smooth as well. Nevertheless, it got 21-inch wheels, but with the winter tires, it's very wobbly, as in very comfortable, stiff enough for some serious Italian type of character on driving. Very precise steering, like all the Italians have. Ferrari does also have it, the Ghibli also, and especially the MC20, the new Maserati coming up. That should be a killer of a supercar. So while you cruise this on, let's say, 80 kilometers an hour on sport mode, the car, the torque, the moment, you, <laughs> you're losing your driving license instantly. Well, yeah, it's a cruiser. I mean, it does have supercar power on the engine, but it does weigh 2,000 kilograms plus. Rear wheel driving, currently winter wheels. So yeah, it's definitely a luxurious limousine to cruise with. But it's also possible to maybe annoy a sports car. A 911, for example, is definitely slower. Maybe not from a standing start, but on rolling, this beast will definitely own the car. It has a top speed officially of 326 kilometers per hour. So yeah, it's fast. 
wheel spin. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. The car is Maserati approved in every kind of experience, on interior, on exterior, and also on driving. See you definitely on the next video. Thank you for watching, Seb. See you soon. Ciao.